Hello, and welcome to the Salt Mine World Finals. I am your host, Brian. Four NA players and four EU players have qualified to participate in this tournament. It's time for some inter-regional matches. Before we begin, let me say thank you to our sponsor, Gif Your Game. They want you to enter their Goal of the Year contest, submit as many gifts as you want to try and win your share of $25,000. Ixo made it into Worlds as the EU second seed. He made an impressive gauntlet run and fell just short of winning the EU final, going all the way to the last game. Lethamir is the third seed from NA. He did not have such an impressive gauntlet performance, dropping to his first challenger, Chronic. So here we are, the first of only a few series in the path to crown the salt mine champion. Game 1, the salt mine world finals. Ixo against Lethemir. This is certainly a clash of styles, but so is every match that Lethemir plays. Ixo is going to be trying to keep this match flowing as fast as he can. And Lethemir, no doubt, is going to try and slow it down. I don't know if he's prepared anything special for Ixo, but if he has, it is going to be very frustrating for Ixo to deal with Leth. Just doing his own thing at the moment, keeping Ixo in the back corner, taking the boost over and over again. Waiting for Ixo to misplay. Haven't had a chance to see any of Ixo's offensive plans for today. Oh, but he might have one here. Lethemir's just tagged him briefly as he went for this open net shot. Otherwise, it would have been on target. That's a great demo by Leth. He's just landed clean on top of Ixo and he's taken a one goal lead. Now, I don't think Ixo expected Lethemir to be going supersonic here, but he accelerated at the very last second that he was falling out of the air and managed to annihilate Ixo out of the play. Ixo's going to have to do some adjusting here. Lethemir is such a unique player. No one in the EU Salt Mine plays quite like he does. And already, Ixo is struggling. The pacing that Lethemir has set not made things easy for Ixo to defend against. He will be trying to assert his own authority on the game, looking to get involved as early as he can in every single play, but already you can see and Ixo wants to play at a million miles an hour. The crossbar and the post deny him his opening goal of the game. The setup was good. Ixo had Lethemir out of position. And that's a very nice half flip challenge. He's gone straight through the ball. Lethemir has actually landed on the line. Somehow kept it out. Ixo and Lethemir both bobbling along with the ball there. And so, I don't really know how, but Lethemir has prevented it from going at his own goal. That's all that matters. Ixo quickly down the line again, as you will see every time that he collects the ball. And Lethemir immediately, as soon as he gets the control of it, slows it down. He's trying to frustrate Ixo here. Trying to force him to play his game, but Ixo's found an opening. And Lethemir ran out of boost. One goal to the Englishman. In what I believe is their first official matchup. Don't know if they've played against each other in the past or if they have any history studying each other's play. Certainly Lethemir made a rise to the top of the 1v1 game before Ixo did. But Ixo also very established by now. And he will also get a demo goal. Both players catching each other off guard early in game one. You do feel like the two players that are on the field today, Lethemir has more comeback potential. We've seen in the past Ixo ending up in game sevens, most recently in. EU Grand Finals. He had three match points and he couldn't take any of them. Lethemir, on the other hand, so much experience to draw upon. He's been here before so many times in high pressure situations. Ixo thinking about going for another demo, but deciding against it and he better get a move on here. Lethemir's right behind him and he's ahead again by one goal. Ixo thought he had the time to get the ball up to speed and back into his corner. And Lethemir wouldn't be able to utilize it. It took too long to get it moving. And Lethemir is already starting to cause him problems. Pinch shot for Ixo. It's gone in off the ceiling, it looks like. It's just off target. Lethemir lets it happen. He's not afraid to play the air game here. Oh, he's forced an own goal out of Ixo. Ixo attempting to intercept here. Wanted to get in the way of the ball. 
But he just wasn't ready for the speed that Lethemir hit it forward at. It wasn't on target before Ixo's touch. Certainly was afterwards. Ixo down by two again. Doesn't have a lot of boost here, but he will get the goal in the bottom corner. Good placement, good power. You know, whenever one player does win the kickoff with a good amount of space behind them, certainly showing us how to convert that into shots on net, how to convert that into goals. Lethemir challenging early here. He doesn't have a lot of boost, but he's keeping Ixil back. Lethemir having to go all the way into his own half, though, because the mid boost was not there when he arrived. And now a double touch from Ixil. He's got bumped out of a pop shot, but he recovers midair and ties up the game with an easy rebound for him. 4-4. Four, four. Both players showing us that they are ready to bring their A game from the very beginning. We haven't seen too many crazy misplays. Of course, there was the own goal by Ixo, but that was just a split-second decision to hit that ball. Lethemir blasted it at him. Lethemir. Trying to boost Sarvixo here, but not really doing so. I don't know if he's aware of just how much boost Ixo has. And he's almost own gold here. Ixo's going to put it in for him. I think Lethemir's just completely misread Ixo's boost total. He didn't position himself far enough back to react to the shot that Ixo took and ended up in a very awkward position between himself and the post. Ixo trying to go for a backflip flick here. Very difficult shot. He has laid out with a boost seal in the corner as well. These uh, shots from Ixo, of course, are always going to be extremely difficult at times. Likes to test himself, even in a very difficult matchup like this. Lethemir knows he needs to step up now. He's down by a goal inside the final. 45 seconds, and step up he will. Ixo goes on the outside of the ball, trying for the mind game, but he gets crushed, Lethemir. Flipping straight through it. And even if it didn't go straight in, I don't know how Ixo was going to get back and defend against any rebounds there. Just too risky to park up next to the ball like that on the outside edge. Lethemir tackling Ixo early in his own defensive corner. Ixo's taking left boost at the moment. That might give him a chance to establish pressure in the final 20 seconds. The lead dodged by Ixo. Takes the ball to the left-hand side. Lethemir, aggressive as ever. Not giving Ixo the space that he wants. To set up that dribble. It's not a bad shot by Leth. He almost got an opening there. And he almost got a demo as well. But because he's missed both, Ixo might take this game. One second left. And he gets the winning goal. Surely, this is such a difficult position to come back from. Of course, Lethemir needs... The ball to go up in the air. Ixo feels like it should have been a demo on himself, but he'll take the game 1-0 to Ixo. A controversial not demo at the end of game one leaves Ixo ahead in the series. By controversial, I mean everyone disagreed with the server. Will Leth be able to win considering the server is biased and has potentially been bribed? An extremely close call for Ixo in game one. Goes his way, and he takes the win with a second left. You know, Lethemir and him both agreed post-match that it did very much look like Lethemir landed that demo on Ixo. And had it landed, Ixo, of course, would have been scored on. I don't think there was any recovering from there. But Lethemir, he has still got a great chance here. He just needs to try and stay calm. I think the fact that Ixo has acknowledged that he feels he got a bit lucky in that last game will help Lethemir. He know that he's not having to play against someone who's trying to tilt him again. It's a beautiful pop by Leth. A little delayed flick on this one. Catching Ixo off guard at the near post. But the server status is currently US East and it's going to be the same for every single matchup in the round one, the quarterfinals here. Ixo being the higher seed, number two coming out of Europe. And Lethemir being number three coming out of NA. Means that Ixo does get 
uh, one extra game on his home server. So we started off EU, and now we're on US East, so we're going to switch back and forth until the series is over. Max seven games, of course. So Lethemir, you know, he's said he's not got much confidence in winning any games on the EU server, but both players have disagreed that he should have won the last one. So I don't know exactly where that comes from. But this is his home game, and he wants to take it. He's off target with his near post shot, Ixo, into his own corner. Look at the aggression by Leth. He's trying to demo Ixo whenever he can. Just trying to let him know that he's there, so that Ixo has to keep on panicking in defense. It's great control by Leth on the back wall. They keep chipping the ball in Ixo's net, and this isn't a shot that he expects to go in, but it always leads to the boost steal for Lethemir, and this is the spot that he's always so comfortable with again. Perfect flick timing, and he just walks the ball into the net. The setup is really dangerous. Ixo's going to need to control that ball on the back wall, or else every single time that he saves the ball to the side, Lethemir's going to take his boost, turn around, and put extremely threatening offensive plays on the orange net. So, playing for the early shot. He's way wide to the right of the goal. Looks like Lethemir is ready to get a save either way. Fine game for Ixo. Gets him back by another goal, though. Lethemir is rushing to get goal side of this one, thinking Ixo would shoot it. But every now and then, Ixo likes to slow down. And whenever he does it, it catches everybody off guard. One goal in it. Lethemir still piling on the pressure. Wants the early shot off the sidewall here, but Ixo's easily got the interception. He's playing for a lot of boost steals as well. Both players, obviously, love to get the pressure on an offense. So that's a brilliant interception by Lethemir. He's fighting openings that I don't think he so expects to be there. Just walking in, avoiding a bump narrowly, and then popping a shot on target. I don't think he so expected that shot to go onto his net. No doubt he knew Lethemir would make a touch on the ball. You always have to be so careful that Lethemir has got some very tricky angles. This could be better executed from him. Ixo on the other hand, perfect. He sees Lethemir driving forward, so why not go for the early flick? Keep moving the ball as early as he can. Scare Lethemir into his own goal. I wouldn't be surprised to see that strategy from both of these guys, especially at this stage in the series. Ixo has to half flip back into his goal. A fear of conceding. In reverse, pinch shot off the floor by Ixo, but Lethemir's back for it. See the early disruption of any offensive play coming in from both of these guys. It's a great tutorial on how to stop an attack as early as you can. But on the other side of the field, we see how to prevent early challenges from working. Lethemir somehow has timed that to perfection. I don't know if he played that off the sound cue or if he just had a good idea of when Ixo was likely to be dodging into the ball. Certainly impressive. Lethemir, 6-3 up now. This is starting to look quite one-sided. Ixo in a bit of trouble with just over half the game gone. And you wonder, in a matchup like this where both players are feeling so confident on their home server and they're feeling so, so much the underdog on the away server, how big of an impact would a break of serve come if somebody can get that W on the server they're not supposed to win on? Suddenly you're looking at a very different series. I think if Lethemir can win this game and take the momentum he's clearly generating back over to EU and win there as well, that would put so much pressure on Ixo. If you do look at the two games compared to each other, Lethemir seems to do better than Ixo overall. He kept the EU match extremely close. In fact, he led it for the majority of the game, whereas Ixo is really struggling to take on Lethemir right now. The timing of Lethemir's flicks has been impeccable. And despite Ixo's best efforts to get in the way of them, he just cannot keep up. 8-3 now, in favor of the Canadian. And Lethemir, I think, is one of the players that the EU boys are most afraid of. It's because of that unique play style. They haven't had any practice against this. Nobody in Europe really plays ones like Lethemir does. You've got some similarities between other players. Ixo, of course, mechanical genius, able to pinch shots off inside of his own post with ease. You see very similar things coming out of first killer. 
Khaled and Lion Blaze quite similar, although Khaled seems overall to be the more refined and perfected version of their own strategy. Great recovery on the sidewall by Ixo, but he has not gotten underneath the ball, or he has rather gotten underneath the ball too much on the shot. Now he's got five goals still to recover from, and only a minute to do it in. He's going to try, and that's a very good start. Ixo pops one over Lethemir as he flies off the wall. And he at least chops the lead back by one goal. 55 seconds left. Does Ixo believe in the comeback here? Is he going to go for it? Certainly possible. And with kickoffs like this, it's even more so. Going for a big dunk, but Lethemir's finding the gap, and that should be the end of the series right there. Lethemir is going to waste as much time as he can. He's not going to give Ixo many more opportunities. He needs to get one goal a second. Of course, Ixo will try, and that is a brilliant setup for Ixo. Maybe it's a bit too early to call it, because Lethemir unexpectedly gave him an attack within about 10 seconds of saving at the other end of the, of the field. I don't know what possessed him to do that. Maybe he's feeling confident enough to close out this win without having to waste time and run the ball around the field. Another pinch shot off the ground by Ixo, but this one not as quick as the first and not as deadly. Zero boost. He's missed the back corner. And that will seal the game for Lethemir. Absolutely going to run down the clock in this position. Ixo's trying. He's trying to get in the way. He knows he has to do something or Lethemir's going to win this. But Lethemir is going to win and send us back to EU with a one-all score. The best of seven becomes a best of five. I just knew it. I knew he was going to do this. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Not too long, I guess. Thank you, Gif Your Game, for sponsoring the Salt Mine Finals. Click the links in the description to find out more about their $25,000 goal of the year contest. Leth is not hopeful about his prospects on EU servers, but he makes the series level for now. Back to EU we go, but pressure's got to be on Ixo. Both players have agreed that this is a significant advantage, especially for them in particular, so if Ixo does end up losing this, gives Lethemir the edge in the series. I don't know how he's going to come back because he's already set himself up for this script of just winning 4-3 with all home server games. Lethemir, meanwhile, he's got nothing to lose here. I wonder if he will try to throw a spanner in the works, try and surprise Ixo with a different pace, different strategy. Already getting lots of space on the right-hand side of the field. He's confidently up for the rebound, but off target with it. I like the hook shot there from Lethemir. Ixo was way back in his corner, so why not switch over to the other side of the field? Ixo trying to flip the ball at the end of his dodge. Another pre-flip coming in, but both have missed, and Lethemir is just marching forward with not care in the world. And now, a one-goal lead. Like I said last game, so far, he has looked the favorite. If we just took the two games that we've already seen as an indicator of what we're going to see for the rest of the day, then Lethemir looks more comfortable. He looks more capable of winning a game on the away server and then just holding his own server games in all three of them. Ixo needs to try and establish dominance. He has to try and get this game moving quicker. This pace favors Leth. This is where he has mastered his craft and where he has been practicing for all of his long ones career. Lethemir off target here. Almost gets a very fortunate rebound. That's a bit lucky for both players because Ixo will be glad to see that that hasn't gone in. Lethemir was quite lucky, of course, to not completely give Ixo a free goal there. <laughs> he is obviously not going to be too happy with the outcome, though. Ixo's Offensive play was too much for him to handle, and he's back in a tie game. <laughs> but overall, I don't think Left could be too upset about that. After missing the shot, it was always going to be an Ixo counter attack. It's a late air dribble by Left, and he's dunked it in as well. What a finish. In a meta game of air dribble bumps, left, right, and center. Lethemir goes high, and it looks like Ixo is not ready for him. That acceleration by Left at the end of the air dribble. Surprising Ixo, he's always 
Well, usually I'll say, not always, but certainly usually the faster the two players, but not on this occasion. Lethemir is susceptibly quick. Oh, Ixo just couldn't get the ball in target, but Lethemir's just falling down <laughs> into the goal. Quite comically, but effectively at the same time. I don't know if Ixo was expecting that <laughs> to just see Left falling down off the crossbar. But he is certainly expecting to score here. Lethemir left a gap for Ixo to use. And Ixo's taking it another tie game. It's very similar so far to game one. Ixo having to come back from behind over and over again. And it's all about that closing minute. Who's going to clutch it? Ixo, at least early on in the series, has got that clutch factor. It was lacking in the grand final of the EU salt mine. But you never know. Maybe he'll find a way to trigger it more often. That's three goal lead for Ixo. He waited. So extremely late in game one to get the goal lead, but now he has got it early on. That first touch was pretty perfect. He got the ball rolling past left, but not too fast that he couldn't catch up with it. Two minutes and 15 left in the clock. Peek so. Trying to find another way through. He slammed left and right the goal, and he does take a two goal lead. And you can't really blame left for losing goals to this. It's so difficult to get a good challenge in on so once he's established a solid kickoff. It's a big part of his game. If he can go even with some of the kickoffs, he does tend to get more goals than they do immediately after kickoff that he's won. Left the mirror. Huge mind game. Wow, that's impressive to read. Exactly what Ixo had planned here, but the other thing I like about this play from left is that he steered quite hard into that ball before just backing out in the last second, really sold the shot as much as he could. Still one goal down, plenty time to find it with. Ixo takes the ball into his back corner, Lethemir tried for the demo. Ixo got away from it, but he's given the ball away. Overall, this is a win for Lethemir. He's got the boost as well, Lethemir in a great spot. Can he find a way past Ixo, he's trying to slow play him. And it looks like he has successfully Lethemir Again, the king of awkward approaches in mind games. That air roll convinced Ixo that a shot was incoming. He didn't think it was going to be as late as it was. Four goals apiece. Just like game one. Exceptionally close on the EU server. Ixo will be very glad that he's coming in as a higher seed. So who knows how difficult it would have been for him. To win a series where he needs to get a win in the away server. Lethemir needs one. And this could be it. He's got another mind game goal. And another late game lead. On the EU server. And to be honest, I don't know why he's so convinced that he's going to lose every game on the EU server. He looks absolutely capable of winning games here. Even against a player like Geekso, who's been dominating this year in the EU salt mine. Great return by Lethemir into his own half. Perfect timing and Ixo's gonna have to leave him alone here. Lethemir could try and waste some time off the clock. He's instead gone for a long shot. That's extremely aggressive on the sidewall as well by Lethemir. Look at the finish! He catches up to the ball and squeezes it in the far post bottom corner. You know, I said at the start of this game, it would be interesting to see Lethemir mix things up. What's he gonna do to try and surprise Ixo? Well, what he's done is actually up the tempo in the last minute when he already has a one goal lead. Ixo's probably thinking Lethemir's gonna time waste. I thought Lethemir's gonna time waste. He's gonna dribble the ball around the field um, and try and let the clock win the game for him. That's not what Lethemir did. He went for a hard clear and then straight off it, he rushed in and challenged on the sidewall. There's no way that Ixo saw that coming. Absolutely no way that he expected a player like Left to do a thing like that when he's already got the one goal lead intact. But that might have been the play that wins the game for Lethemir. Gets him in front by one on the away server. Well, it could have all been mind games up till now. Was he trying to get Ixo to go easy on him, saying that he's not going to win a game on EU? And in fact, he's already done it 2-1 to, to Lethemir. It's now a better EU server performance than Leth expected, and he has the lead in the series. Ixo finds himself under increased pressure, needing to win on away servers at least once or he loses this series. Leth still cannot afford to take it easy.
Game four, Lethemer has done it. He's taken two in a row. And more importantly, he's beaten Ixo on his own server. And Ixo was actually thinking about forfeiting this game before I reminded him that he will have to win a game on US East at some point from here on if he wants to win the series. So you may as well give it a go now, and he is going to give it a go. 1-0. Another awkward exchange for both players get locked up together. Ixo comes away with the opening goal. For him, it's going to be difficult from here. Of course, it has seemed to be going in Lethemer's favor. Game one, very easily could have. Just a slight change of speed late in the match, and he would have had a demo and a win. If that had happened, he would be 3-0 up right now. Ixo does have what it takes. Everybody's seen what he's done this year, what he's done in the past in the 1v1 scene. He's got incredible talent. Will he be able to bring it against Lethemer in game four or game six? Lethemer rebounds under him. And this slow approach has surprised Ixo, who was trying to stay in line with this ball. Look at Lethemer there, just getting the ball low, shooting it as late as possible. Deny Ixo any chance to get a big block on it. 1 1 already. And Lethemer's back corner kickoffs have been great today. He's not relying on big wins or neutral ball kickoffs in the center of the field like he often does. He's found a way to lose the kickoff territorially but win it in terms of possession. And this time it hasn't really worked out too well because Ixo's pop here was very difficult for Lethemir to deal with. That was a really awkward ball for Lethemir to collect. Of course, a player of his standard would expect to deal with that or at least make less of a meal of it, but well played to Ixo. He's using the Carter wall to bounce the ball in as awkwardly as possible. Very early challenge by Ixo, disguising his approach with the ball. And his flick is pretty tame by his standards. He has a half flip out of that aerial, realizing he's getting beaten to the ball, Lethemer. Straight down the line. Trying to mix up the pace every now and then. Sometimes it's a slow bounce dribble. Sometimes he's charging in. You know, I said that there's nobody that plays like Leth, but the way he challenges the ball sometimes reminds me of the way that Khaled has been challenging the ball in the EU salt mine. Always faking challenges, always using little boost bursts to pretend that he's going to go for the ball. Then, on occasion, whenever he does see an opening, he doesn't hesitate at all. There's absolutely zero hesitation coming out of Lethemer right now when he thinks he can get to the ball. He just goes straight for it. That's making Ixos' life very difficult because when you're playing against him, Lethemer is fully focused and fully confident in his ability to win. It is no easy matchup. The only player in NA to beat first killer in a series this year. Ixos completely lost control. Lethemer there for the punish. And it's just going from bad to worse for Ixo. Underseer on the turn. Chips the ball in field by accident. And Lethemer accepts the one goal lead. The one goal gift. Early Christmas present from Ixo there. Well shot on target for Ixo. Lethemer ready and waiting to send it wide. Air dribble. It's a flip reset for Leth. He pops it on target and he gets a bit fortunate but still rewarded for the risks that he's willing to take. Just stayed with this one. Flip reset into dunk. I believe he even had another reset on the ball in the line as well but he didn't need it. And that is a tilter. So must be thinking right now that the world is against him that it's just not his day. Oh, and he absolutely will after this. <laughs> so, with one of the worst own goals we've seen in a while, and I hate to do this in, but we have to see this again, because this is a hugely impactful moment on the series. He was expecting it to bounce back in a different angle. He's trying to put it wide, but he sent it straight into his own goal. Still, three goals is all Ixo needs to come back from. And he is in a position to do it. He's only got two minutes, 25 seconds. Not a huge amount of time against a player like Leth, but it is possible. But look at this by Lethemer. Flip reset, rebound. And honestly, have you ever seen him looking better mechanically? That is unbelievable. Without that reset, there's no way he would have put that on target, but he's managed to do it. And he takes a four goal lead in emphatic fashion. Gonna be two games to the good after this. Barring an absolute miracle from Ixo. And remember that if Ixo does lose this, he needs to win three games in a row, and the one in the middle will be another NA server game.
And it just doesn't look like he's got what it takes. It doesn't look like he's got the confidence and the ability. Like, yes, when you're playing on the away server, it is harder to tackle the other player. It is harder to win kickoffs. But Ixo's offense has also been unimpressive by his standards. And that is not an away server problem. That is because he just is not in the right place mentally. And now he's going to go <laughs> for the low to the ground camera settings that we've seen him use before to questionable degrees of success. Lethemir is totally dominating right now on and off the pitch. And it's Ixo who needs to make the changes. He has to try and play more confidently. When he's attacking with absolutely no regard for what his opponent is doing, no regard for who his opponent is or what server he's playing on, that's when he's at his best, when he's scoring goals and making everybody look like they're an uh, entire level below him. And when he lets the situation, when he lets the un unfortunate goals, the unlucky own goals, the lucky dunks perhaps that his opponent's getting, when he lets these things get to his head, there really is no coming back and another shot gets saved by left. He's in full control right now. Another gorgeous flick and a little turtle catch to send the ball over the line. This confirms, all but confirms, Ixo's worst nightmare. He needs a three game streak here. Not a full reverse sweep, but if we were playing a best of five today, it would be. Like I said before, you'll need to win two of those games on EU, and the one in the middle on US East server, something he's really struggled with today. He's back within four here, but really, how much of a chance has Ixo given himself here? That's a pretty ridiculous pre-jump challenge. And honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing Ixo do this kind of thing from the start of the game. If he started a match on NA server, this game for example, and just tried to play out of his mind, went for every single ball like a madman, there would be some strategy to that because if he doesn't think he's got what it takes to win in a heads-up matchup, standard play versus standard play, then you have to make a change. You have to go for something more crazy. Ain't no credit to him. He's playing with some pretty silly camera settings right now, but he's actually almost making it look viable. And it's too late, and it's just not enough to make the necessary change this later on. Lethemir has been beast mode. One of his best games we've seen in a while, mechanically. Unbelievable goals. And just the control in the midfield denying Ixo any chances, any hope of a comeback. And now, he needs three games in a row if he's going to win this. One more for left will advance him and eliminate Ixo from the tournament. Well, if Ixo was feeling the pressure after game three, he will feel it all the more now that he needs three game wins in a row to advance. Lethemir looks more likely to advance, I must admit, but we have seen bigger upsets. Does Ixo have what it takes? Will Lethemir take it all right now? Game number five. Second, or rather the third game on the EU server. Currently, both players have won a single game here. Both of those games were very close, and it was Lethemir who was pulling the strings. He was making the plays, keeping Ixo guessing right up until the final whistle. And you just wonder, what's he got in store right now? What is he planning for game five? Obviously, he knows that he's got Ixo pretty tilted at the moment. So we could be seeing focus on aggression. He can get a couple of big bumps on Ixo at either end of the field. That could be the thing that sends Ixo spiraling out of control. And that is exactly what Lethemer is thinking. Demos Ixo on the back wall for the 1-0 lead. And that could be the goal that just straight up wins the series. Not even a minute in. But Ixo is going to be so furious with himself right now. He's going to be furious with the situation he's in. You know, after hearing that Lethemer was his opponent for this match, he, his first reaction, obviously still coming off a pretty tough loss to Khaled in the grand final of the EU Salt Mine playoffs. His first reaction was, that's just like me, to end up against a player like Leth in a tournament after coming second place. 
course, he doesn't think Lef is one of the lower rated players in NA. He, would, he thinks he's definitely up there. Him and First Killer is the two scary ones. Lethemer is just doing exactly what we expected here. He's dominating Ixo back into his own half. Trying to connect with as many bumps and demos as he can. Ixo slams one over the top though. And that's what he needs to do. If he's going to win from this position, if he's going to win this series three games in a row, he needs to pop off. And like I said in the last game, the one thing that doesn't really change when you switch server is your own offensive execution. If Ixo can start to bang in goals in this game and then continue doing that on the NA server, yes, he's going to have a harder time dispossessing Lethemer. Yes, he's going to have a harder time with kickoffs and 50-50s and challenges. But if his own offense does as well as we know it can, then he is definitely in with a chance today. All he needs is that one win on the NA server. Slow dribble by Ixo. It's actually a slow-mo bump play. He just pops the ball on target with a backflip and then drives Lethemer into the net on his landing. 3-1. All of a sudden, Ixo has woken up and it just took that one good play for him to elevate. Now we're seeing him move around with conviction. He's believing in himself in every single attack. Lethemer, no doubt has some more tricks up his sleeve. Ixo has to be careful, and he hasn't been careful. He's given, he, given Lethemir a free rebound. Now, he might have expected this to bounce up and then uh, over the, the goal, so he's getting ready for that, but can't move in too early. What if it does bounce back? What if it is going to be a flat ball straight back to Lethemir? As this one is, Lethemir times his pop perfectly, and he's tied up the game already. And Ixo careless again. He's moving forward in plain sight. But really, can you blame him? He's got to be thinking, well, if I go back to sit in my goal here, I'm probably not going to save this shot anyway, so I might as well challenge. And hey, it didn't work out. Pinch shot by Ixo. will go over the top. And he somehow bounced this one in. That is just next level from Ixo. Clipping the ball right after the bounce. And Lethemer has said it pretty well. Yeah, he's not reacting to that. <laughs> he's absolutely right. Without a pre-jump. Last week, he's not going to get that. Ixo gets bumped into the side boost by Lethemir. He wants to take the ball the other way. It's a really smart play by Leth. He's spun Ixo around and then taking the ball for himself. Well, let's see if Ixo can keep up the offensive plays. He's trying to play that game. And oh my goodness! Is he doing it well? This is exactly what he should have tried to do last game. Just go for every single shot that you can come up with. If you can think of it, then it might be possible because you're Ixo and you just did that. 5-3. Wild dunk off the ceiling from Ixo. I mean, Lethemir is already having a hard time reading your average Ixo shot. This is not going to be possible. Oh, he's almost rebounded one in off the corner wall, but now boost has come to a halt for Ixo and Lethemir walks in a fourth goal. You know, he wasn't far off that, Ixo, but he leaned back thinking that he was going to place it on target and ended up missing the ball entirely. The fear there for Ixo is that if he does hit the near post with the rebound, then that does just pass the ball to Lethemir and he can easily score. Speaking of easily score, Lethemir making a bar down finish. Look incredibly simple. These shots are not easy. The connection that Lethemir makes on that ball couldn't be any more perfect. And we're at a 5 all game again, just like every other EU game this series. It's super close, Lethemir. Able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ixo in every single one of them. Ixo with the mind game. Season opening, and he's through for 6-5. And it's that sudden halt of pace, that sudden break that Ixo made it completely caught Lethemir off guard. We talked about this earlier in the series. A player who we always expect to be moving, moving at Supersonic whenever he can. Catches you off guard every now and then with these mind games. Ixo on the rebound, top corner. And he's ahead by two. And would you look at that? It's another little chip shot that he's managing to do off the floor. I'm tentative to call it a pinch as I have in the past because although other players are 
pinching those. It's almost a half volley. Ixo waits for the bounce and then he clips the ball. Sends it flying towards the opposition net, but also with a bit of height on it. And now he's going to be three goals ahead. Ixo starting to dominate in the final minutes here. Lethemir thought he could walk the ball over to the side boost, but Ixo got underneath him, got in front of him, and beat him to it. And that's going to be a really difficult spot for Lethemir to come back from. It's about to get harder as well. Ixo walking away with it now. And Lethemir can't keep up with him. Now you do wonder what can Ixo do with this momentum? What can he do in the following matchup? Lethemir is forfeited from here. He knows it's going to be a difficult comeback, and we go to US East for game six. Lethemir chooses to forfeit early in this game, which means that Ixo has earned one game win out of the three he needs. Leth might be placing his bets on a home server helping him close out the series. Will that tactic work? Ixo fights back, but then starts game six. It's typing GG's in the chat. Now this might have been really smart by Lethemir to forfeit with a minute left in game five, because he realized what was happening. He noticed Ixo was starting to run away with it and bang in multiple goals. And he didn't want Ixo going into the final game or what could be the final game here with all that momentum built up behind him. Instead, he's tried to break that before it even starts. And he's already got the one goal lead on Ixo. It might be a two goal lead if he can recover quickly here. That is going to be easy for Lethemir. 20 seconds gone. And he's already making this game look as easy as both of the other US East games that he's taken. That is going to be the interesting dynamic for this entire tournament is how our players going to adapt to higher ping you know the player who's done best out of everybody so far this year in the salt mine is Khaled who has spent the entire time adapting to higher ping and trying to beat players who have a faster connection than he does and he's done it in every single series that's because he's used to doing it he has already accepted that that is the case Whoever else can just accept that aspect of the game, try to play on through it, difficult as it may be, more likely to succeed. Ixo, unable to go under Lethemir here for his opening goal as Lethemir tagged it right as he was about to go over. Three goal lead for Lethemir, already looking deadly, already looking comfortable for him. Ixo has to try to pop off like he did in the last game. Lethemir is making life so difficult for him. What a save off the inside of his own post pre-flip for Ixo to keep Lethemir at bay. He won't be able to keep him at bay forever. Lethemir is marching forward again. Ixo has gone straight through him in the challenge. And Lethemir is, I think, trying to absorb this 50-50. But ended up getting bulldozed because Ixo just spiraled right through it. You know, you can absorb 50-50s if the other player dodges away from the ball, if they kind of get a glancing blow. But if they go right into the middle of it like Ixo just did, you're not going to have a good time. Lethemir is making some good saves at his near post to keep Ixo's scoreline as low as he can. The double jump pop doesn't get too much done. Ixo decides to half flip through it. Lethemir quick to turn around. Send him back to his half. Ixo accelerates into a wave dash demo. And now he's got a wide open net. And he puts it on the side of the goal. Farthest from the respawning Lethemir. And that's the aggression you want to see from Ixo if he's going to get a win today. Has to try and go all in on every single play. Lethemir wishing he could choose the spawn point. But honestly here, I don't think it would have mattered. I think he still could have placed it either either way. He hadn't gone all in on that right-hand side uh, post. So I'm sure Lethemir just making a in general request here. Not trying to suggest that he was going to save that. If he could have chosen which side he's going to spawn on. Ixo waits for the ball to hit his crossbar before also making contact. Within a goal. It's a better scoreline than he's been for most of the NA games so far. Does he see it that way though? Does he see this as a winnable series, as a winnable game? He's still flying down after the initial touch. Lethemir makes good contact on it. He's still showing a lot of respect for Lethemir's overhead defending there. Not going straight for the double touch without landing. Lethemir's getting a lot of time wasted off the clock here. Just half the game to go now. Ixo quite happy to let Lethemir come forward because he wants there to be space behind him. And there is the space behind him. 
Eeks up, gets the ball into it, and then into the goal. Just baiting him in, drawing him forward. Ixo didn't make a run for his own corner boost there, which I think is very smart against a player like Leth, who loves to steal those boosts anytime he can. So you just leave your corner boost up. There's a good chance he's going to move in for it, and then you can turn around and stick the ball over his head. But Ixo figured all that out on the fly, and then executed it to perfection. He's putting another goal off the wall as well. 4-3 now for Ixo. Is he really coming back here after knocking himself down all day and making it seem as if this was going to be an impossible task. He's making it seem possible when it's his last chance, when he's completely backed up against the wall. He's trying to fight out of the corner. Lethemir with a strong kick off of his own. Ixo forces left the own goal. You know, these guys are just slugging it out here with heavy hitting kickoffs. Every single one of these leading to an immediate goal. Well, it started off as quite a quiet game. A long back and forth with no goals occurring. Suddenly got several. Lethemer drives by for the demo and Ixo jumps over him. He's ahead by two on the away server. And this is insane for Ixo because historically he's not been the strongest player mentally. Whenever things start to go wrong for him, they keep going wrong. He doesn't, he never had the ability to stop that from happening, to turn it around and to try and make a comeback from a difficult position. But it seems that he's found a way to do it today. Even though he's gone about it in quite a very British and negative way, very self-deprecating. He's making it work, 7-4 now. This is absolutely a scoreline and a time left in the clock that Ixo can work with. Lethemir gonna try and chip away at that lead as early as he can. Ixo taking the boost at the side of the field from left. He's setting up the flip reset. Gets it on target, but Lethemir's there for the save. And down the line he goes. Has somewhat of an opening for a rebound. And Lethemir confidently blasts it in. Love the shot selection here by Leth. Lots of players who have just snatched at that open net and hit the post and been out of the game. But Lethemir realized it's easier for him to just chip it and then put it in off the rebound. Minute 23 left. Strong kickoff for Lethemir. It goes off target. And Ixo sees it going off target early. Ixo's moving the ball as quick as he can. He knows Lethemir is going to challenge as fast as he can late in the game here. Lethemir's just gone straight over to Ixo's air dribble bump. But if you watched the grand final or the semi-final of the EU pl Salmine playoffs, you'll know that that is not an easy thing to do. Ixo's been scoring an air dribble bumps on everybody, but Lethemir, when it matters most, has just gone over the one and scored on the counter. Ixo trying to get that two goal lead back. Well, Lethemir gets the save and he chases Ixo all the way into the corner. Now he's the one looking for the demo and he gets it. Lethemir, surely, surely he will tie the game. And it's the exact same way that he started it. The one demo goal just to remind Ixo that he always has to fear when he's near his own goal. Ixo's three goal lead has been destroyed. Just 43 seconds left to try and get it back. Lethemir is gonna be the next player to attack. He's got the ball under control and 100 boost as well. Ixo is circling at the edge of the box and now at the halfway line, looking for an opening. Lethemir sends it long over his head. That's ballsy by Ixo to just catch it in the face of danger. Now he's had to back off because Lethemir's threatening multiple shots here. Ixo playing extremely defensively here. Trying to surprise Lethemir, who no doubt thought Ixo would just lunge in in the final seconds. We might be seeing an overtime here in the final game, or we might not. Lethemir could take it all the way, and he will take it into the next round with a comeback win and a zero second ball carry from one end of the field to the other. And he moves on to the semi-finals. Ixo is eliminated. Johnny calling the final game before it was over. Script revealed. I think Ixo's frustration in the end was well earned. His chance to extend the series and his chance to even reach overtime was wasted. Leth will be happy to win in six games today. Lethemir advances to the semi-final, after an eventful series.
It's an advancement that guarantees him an increased share of the prize pool, but potentially an even tougher opponent to face. Ixo leaves Worlds with $250 to his name, and his place at the top of 1v1's still intact. The finals are the highest level of competition. Thank you again to Gif Your Game for sponsoring the Salt Mine World Finals. Remember you can enter their $25,000 Goal of the Year contest, check their link for more details. Join us tomorrow for another quarter-finals match, another best of seven, and maybe more salt. Oh Khalid and Lion Blaze face off. Thank you for watching today. This is the EU Salt Mine, I am your host, and friend, Brian. Ixo fights back, but then starts game six by typing GG's in the chat. Now this might have been really smart by Lethemir to forfeit with a minute left in game five, because he realized what was happening. He noticed Ixo was starting to run away with it and bang in multiple goals. And he didn't want Ixo going into the final game or what could be the final game here with all that momentum built up behind him. Instead, he's tried to break that before it even starts. And he's already got the one goal lead on Ixo. It might be a two goal lead if he can recover quickly here. That is going to be easy for Lethemir. 20 seconds gone. And he's already making this game look as easy as both of the other US East games that he's taken. That is going to be the interesting dynamic for this entire tournament is how our players going to adapt to higher ping. You know, the player who's done best out of everybody so far this year in the salt mine is Khaled who has spent the entire time adapting to higher ping and trying to beat players who have a faster connection than he does and he's done it in every single series that's because he's used to doing it he has already accepted that that is the case whoever else can just accept that aspect of the game try to play on through it difficult as it may be more likely to succeed. Ixo unable to go under Lethemir here for his opening goal as Lethemir tagged it right as he was about to go over. Three goal lead for Lethemir already looking deadly. Already looking comfortable for him. Ixo has to try to pop off like he did in the last game. Lethemir is making life so difficult for him. What a save off the inside of his own post pre-flip for Ixo to keep Lethemir at bay. He won't be able to keep him at bay forever. Lethemir is marching forward again. Ixo has gone straight through him in the challenge. And Lethemir is, I think, trying to absorb this 50-50. But ended up getting bulldozed because Ixo just spiraled right through it. You know, you can absorb 50-50s if the other player dodges away from the ball, if they kind of get a glancing blow. But if they go right into the middle of it like Ixo just did, you're not going to have a good time. Lethemir is making some good saves at his near post to keep Ixo's scoreline as low as he can. The double jump pop doesn't get too much done. Ixo decides to half flip through it. Lethemir quick to turn around. Send him back to his half. So he accelerates into a wave dash demo. And now he's got a wide open net. And he puts it on the side of the goal. Farthest from the respawning Lethemir. And that's the aggression you want to see from Ixo if he's going to get a win today. Has to try and go all in on every single play. Lethemir wishing he could choose the spawn point. But honestly here I don't think it would have mattered. I think Ixo could have placed it either, either way. He hadn't gone all in on that right-hand side uh, post. I'm sure Lethemir just making a in-general request here, not trying to suggest that he was going to save that if he could have chosen which side he's going to spawn on. Ixo waits for the ball to hit his crossbar before also making contact. Within a goal, is a better scoreline than he's been for most of the NA games so far. Does he see it that way, though? Does he see this as a winnable series, as a winnable game? Ixo flying down after the initial touch. Lethemir makes good contact on it. Ixo showing a lot of respect for Lethemir's overhead defending there. Not going straight for the double touch without landing. Lethemir is getting a lot of time wasted off the clock here. Just half the game to go now. Ixo quite happy to let Lethemir come forward because he wants there to be space behind him. And there is the space behind him. Ixo gets the ball into it and then into the goal. Just baiting him in, drawing him forward. 
He still didn't make a run for his own corner boost there, which I think is very smart against a player like Leth, who loves to steal those boosts anytime he can. So you just leave your corner boost up. There's a good chance he's going to move in for it, and then you can turn around and stick the ball over his head. But still figured all that out on the fly and then executed it to perfection. He's putting another goal off the wall as well. 4-3 now for Ixil. Is he really coming back here after socking himself down all day and making it seem as if this was going to be an impossible task? He's making it seem possible when it's his last chance, when he's completely backed up against the wall. He's trying to fight out of the corner. Lethemir with a strong kick off of his own. Ixil forces left the own goal. You know, these guys are just slugging it out here with heavy hit and kickoffs. Every single one of these leading to an immediate goal. And what started off as quite a quiet game. A long back and forth with no goals occurring. Suddenly got several. Lethemer drives by for the demo and Ixo jumps over him. He's ahead by two on the away server. And this is insane for Ixo because historically he's not been the strongest player mentally. Whenever things start to go wrong for him, they keep going wrong. He doesn't, he never had the ability to stop that from happening, to turn it around and to try and make a comeback from a difficult position. But it seems that he's found a way to do it today. Even though he's gone about it in quite a very British and negative way, very self-deprecating. He's making it work, 7-4 now. This is absolutely a scoreline and a time left in the clock that Ixo can work with. Lethemir going to try and chip away at that lead as early as he can. Ixo taking the boost at the side of the field from Leth. He's setting up the flip reset. Gets it on target, but Lethemir's there for the save. And down the line he goes. Has somewhat of an opening for a rebound. And Lethemir confidently blasts it in. Love the shot selection here by Leth. Lots of players who have just snatched at that open net and hit the post and been out of the game. But Lethemir realized it's easier for him to just chip it and then put it in off the rebound. Minute 23 left. Strong kickoff for Lethemir. It goes off target. And Ixo sees it going off target early. Ixo's moving the ball as quick as he can. He knows Lethemir is going to challenge as fast as he can late in the game here. Lethemir's just gone straight over to Ixos air double bump, but if you watched the grand final or the semi-final of the EU pl Salmine playoffs, you'll know that that is not an easy thing to do. Ixos has been scoring an air dribble bumps on everybody, but Lethemir, when it matters most, has just gone over the one and scored on the counter. Ixo trying to get that two goal lead back. Well, Lethemir gets the save and he chases Ixo all the way into the corner. Now he's the one looking for the demo and he gets it, Lethemir. Surely, surely he will tie the game. And it's the exact same way that he started it. The one demo goal just to remind Ixo that he always has to fear when he's near his own goal. Ixo's three goal lead has been destroyed. Just 43 seconds left to try and get it back. Lethemir is going to be the next player to attack. He's got the ball under control and 100 boost as well. Ixo is circling at the edge of the box and now at the halfway line, looking for an opening. Lethemir sends it long over his head. That's ballsy by Ixo to just catch it in the face of danger. Now he's had to back off because Lethemir's threatening multiple shots here. Ixo playing extremely defensively here. Trying to surprise Lethemir, who no doubt thought Ixo would just lunge in in the final seconds. We might be seeing an overtime here in the final game, or we might not. Lethemir could take it all the way, and he will take it into the next round with a comeback win and a zero-second ball carry from one end of the field to the other. And he moves on to the semi-finals. Ixo is eliminated. Johnny calling the final game before it was over. Script revealed. I think Ixo's frustration in the end was well earned. His chance to extend the series and his chance to even reach overtime was wasted. Leth will be happy to win in six games today. Lethemir advances to the semi-final after an eventful series. It's an advancement that guarantees him an increased share of the prize pool, but potentially an even tougher opponent to face. 
Ixo leaves Worlds with $250 to his name, and his place at the top of 1v1s still intact. The finals are the highest level of competition. Thank you again to GIF Your Game for sponsoring the Salt Mine World Finals. Remember you can enter their $25,000 Goal of the Year contest, check their link for more details. Join us tomorrow for another quarter-finals match, another best of seven, and maybe more salt. Oh Khalid and Lion Blaze face off. Thank you for watching today. This is the EU Salt Mine, I am your host, and friend, Brian.